Well, it's still in political limbo, technically. In fact, you could end up being a future Prime Minister of Israel. Is this affecting... This is not about uh, Netanyahu, and it's not about left and right in Israel, and it, I will certainly back uh, Netanyahu and Minister Gantz and the government of Israel at this very uh, difficult moment. When we get hundreds of rockets a night on Israel, we all stand united. No one will divide us, and we'll fight back. Hamas, instead of taking its money and investing in hospitals, in schools, in building a future for its people, it's spending all its money on terror, on trying to kill Israelis. It's both stupid and wrong. It's stupid because they're not going to succeed, because we're strong and we're going to defend ourselves. Okay. And you know, I'm in the opposition now, but make no mistake, we are all united. We stand strong, united. And there's one way for this to stop for Hamas to lay down its arms, and then it'll stop. Okay. Then of Prime Minister Netanyahu, you, you say you back him there, uh, but, I mean, surely there is still... But we in Israel have a sort of a unspoken rule. When we're at war with an enemy who wants to annihilate us, we stand together. Just listen to what Bahar said. We're going to go out and kill every single Jew. So that's not anyone who's seeking peace, and I don't buy any of this so uh, you rubbish. Don't... <laughs> but if they continue this, it's just going to get worse. Okay, me... And I'm telling every commander, every soldier of Hamas, we're after you. We're coming after you. We're not going to let off. So, so you might as well stop shooting at